Well, probably no doubt what this is. This is a 55 gallon drum and I'm gonna turn this into free or really cheap steel roofing, tin roofing. This is twice, three times as thick as the uh, corrugated steel roofing that you buy. First, I cut off the top. You can shoot a sawzall. You can cut off the top, you can cut off the bottom, and then you just split it. It started out as a flat sheet, and we're going to turn it back into a flat sheet. These ridges right here are the only thing that really keeps it from just flattening out by itself. So we need to smash these ridges down, and we're going to do that with a vehicle. First, I'm going to flatten it out as much as I can by hand. the other side and then you'll just have to do a little bit of hand manipulating um, not so corner. it's easy to bend so it'll bend right back well, there you go for no cost just, uh, and it actually doesn't take much time at all to cut these up you're you're left with a piece that's about 33 inches wide a little over 33 and just shy of six feet long for, and it, these ridges are kinked now. They're going to have to be, but that actually adds rigidity. So it makes it, you know, hold its form just like a piece of corrugated steel. The, the wood roof is all done, but you see it on the ground. I'm laying out the panels, and I'm actually bending the panels to how I need them. I'm actually bending, let me show you, you know, one lip up, lip it up and down so the water doesn't flow under them. And then at the bottom, that slope down, they're just tucked one under the other. But I'm gonna show you how I bend these. Pretty simple, I'll just take the piece I want. I'm just using this trailer edge as, as an edge to bend this on. You can do this on anything. I mean, I'm using this other piece of, this is actually from bed rail, to actually clamp it down. this over just like a you could do this over wood if you wanted to over scrap two by fours or something it would bend and now I'm just going to hit that down slowly
one of the nice things about adding these angles is it makes the whole panel extremely rigid. The same way the original 55 gallon drum um, ribs made it rigid so the, the drum didn't flex in and out. These will make it rigid so they don't it doesn't bend this way or this way anymore. I know it's dark outside but that's it. It's actually I painted it so let's see if we can get you in maybe we can there you go. Now you can see the detail. You can see they're 50 gallon drums. But I ended up actually just tack welding the seams. Um, you could do the same with sheet metal screws but I ended up I put some screws across the top into the side and then I had to put some across the bottom just to hold it down because everything's kind of ski wampus but you can see that it actually it's laid out pretty pretty flat. I quickly uh, last night I sprayed it black really fast the black's gonna show every little ripple but that gives you a good idea of what they look like you know but it's all together all bolted down 55 gallon drums turn into roofing There you can see that it they come down, they lock in, same at the top, so they're wedged in there. It gets a little darker up here but they're completely wedged in there and you have the uh, the rail you know so you have your your rafter here but you actually have a rafter on the outside at the same height the top of it is the top of that so that holds it from shifting forward to back or from side to side and then those notches keep it going forward to back and now I'll just put in just a couple screws just there there in each corner of the building but the weight alone isn't allowing it to go anywhere. And I gotta fix two pinhole leaks that I made welding together, spot welding it. Easy enough.